Hello, Greg Norris here from GHI Electronics. Today I'm going to walk you through connecting the OSD3358 development board to your computer and accessing the board's files using an SSH program. GHI Electronics OSD3358 family of products are based on Octavo Systems OSD335X family, which uses the Citara AM3358 from Texas Instruments. These are the same processors used in the new BeagleBoard.org's BeagleBone Black Wireless. This allows you to take RSOM, TH board, or dev board and use many of the programs you've already created for the black. Our products also allow you to add only the parts you may need for your prototypes and designs. First thing, you'll have to hook up your board to your PC using a USB cable. Next, connect the cable to the device's USB client connector. You may also have to add additional power to the board especially when we start to use the display in later videos. Once connected and powered, the hardware device will open an explorer window. Click on the start.htm file to get started. Next, install the board's drivers by clicking on your computer's appropriate link from the list of available drivers. The dev board comes pre-flashed with the latest Linux image, so there's no need to follow the update board with software step from the getting started guide. Unless, of course, you'd like to add your own image to the device or create an SD boot image. Then follow the update board with latest software steps. In this video, we'll assume you're going to get started with our pre-flashed image. To access the board's files so you can edit, add, or remove them, a common SSH program can be used. Log into the device using the default IP address of 192.168.7.2. Username root and leave the password blank. This will allow you to copy files to the board from your PC. Alternately, you can use SSH over UART0 using a USB to serial converter. If you're using the dev board, one is included on the board. If you're using the TH board, you'll have to add one. UART0 allows you to see early boot messages that may help diagnose issues. You can also connect to the board using your host computer's browser. Open a browser, currently only Chrome or Firefox are supported, and type in http colon slash slash and the default IP of 192.168.7.2. This will connect you to the board's embedded homepage. There you'll find a wealth of development tools to get you started. In later videos, I'll show you how to configure or add a display and set up networking. Until then, I hope this video is informative and covering just the basics of hooking up your device. Thanks for watching and have a great day.